The Chickasaw Nation is rolling out an innovative new way to care for their citizens who are battling or recovering from the COVID-19 virus. The tribe recently took delivery of nine brand new caring cottages, which will allow COVID patients to safely isolate from their family members. The cottages will be available beginning next week. And this week, reporter Steve Shaw traveled to Pontotoc County to check them out. The Chickasaw Nation has more than 70,000 citizens worldwide. Their largest presence is in Oklahoma. From Bryan to Duncan to McLean and Love counties, 13 counties in all. Chickasaw Nation Lieutenant Governor Chris Anatubby says as of this past Monday, the number of COVID-19 cases in the Chickasaw Nation's 13-county treaty territory stood at 39,424 and climbing. The number of deaths, 361. It's been pretty uh, devastating to watch. We, we just committed early on uh, the tribe to doing everything we can within our uh, workplaces and in our communities to, to try to do our very best to control the spread. When the pandemic began, Chickasaw Nation applied for and received federal CARES Act dollars to pay for a handful of projects, including nine of these tiny homes. They're called caring cottages. They're each 399 square feet, and they each have a unique design. One of them actually looks like a little houseboat, and they're all within walking distance to the Chickasaw Nation health system. Starting this Monday, some citizens who test positive positive will be referred here and recover for around two weeks. You know, we want to keep those out. We want to keep everybody safe, but the elders are particularly at high risk. And uh, we needed a place to at least for a couple of weeks that folks could stay that were COVID positive. They couldn't stay at their home, uh, didn't want to infect their loved ones. And so it took us, uh, well, in a very short time frame, we purchased uh, five units first, and then we purchased four more. Lieutenant Governor Anatubby says Chickasaw Nation bought these carrying cottages from a vendor in Texas. They cost $70,000 each. They have all the amenities that you would need to, to be able to take care of yourself. Probably even, uh, we have phone, internet, uh, television, um, certainly, uh, most of them are one bedroom units from what I understand. Um, but they're, they're very comfortable. Kind of reminds me a little bit. It's uh, certainly nicer than a dorm <laughs> that you may have encountered in college or something, but, uh, it's just a, a nice little tiny home. Anna Tubby says as of Monday, 7,300 COVID-19 vaccinations have been given to citizens and more than 1,700 Chickasaw Nation elders have also gotten at least the first dose of the vaccine. That's the Chickasaw Nation Medical Center. A portion of that CARES Act money allowed Chickasaw Nation to also build this alternative care site. It will allow Chickasaw Nation to care for as many as 40 extra overflow patients. The alternative care site is also being used as a medical training facility and a vaccination site. Dr. Charles Grimm is Secretary of Health for Chickasaw Nation. He says mass testing is why Chickasaw Nation employees test positive for COVID only about half the rate of the local community right now. Have we seen the worst of it? Well, I read a lot of articles every day, Steve. I get up, uh, instead of reading anything uh, lighthearted, I read COVID, COVID, COVID when I wake up in the morning and, and the, in the evenings. And uh, people say we're on a little bit of a tail off right now but they think it's gonna go up again. In March, this 40,000 square foot new emergency operations facility is scheduled to open. It's where the old Kmart building at 1300 Craddock Road in Ada used to sit. It will serve as Chickasaw Nation's COVID-19 incident command center. Then we also hope uh, that there will be more vaccine available. Right now, the, one of the big things that limits us from doing any large mass vaccination types of events are the amount of vaccine that you get. Um, so the first two that have come out, Pfizer um, uh, and Moderna, both require two shots in the series too, which makes it very logistically difficult to just start giving out shots. 
you have to know your supply chain is going to have a second one to you in time, or you have to set aside that second one and reserve it for that uh, person to come back again. Uh, what about that new shot that it only takes one? Are you folks going to get any of that? We haven't heard yet. Uh, you know, it's not been approved yet in the U.S. Uh, through the emergency youth authorization. But in Ada, Steve Shaw, the Oklahoma News Report. Steve, thank you. The new Chickasaw Nation Emergency Operations Facility will also be used as the local command center following tornadoes and other natural disasters.